will begin assigning some probes to their appropriate port locations. This tool rack has four open slots, so we'll be able to assign up to four different probes to this tool rack. In this example, we're going to assign a probe called 2P0 by 20 millimeter SF to port one. Make sure the tool rack is highlighted on the screen. Click edit and highlight port one with the left mouse button. Look for module stylus column. Click on the down arrow and pick the probe name. Assign the probe name to the holder. The clearance column will allow you to adjust how far the probe moves out of the holder. If you have a stylus pointing back underneath the tool rack, you'll want a little more distance when it removes it from the probe socket. You'll repeat this step for each of the remaining ports. Once you've assigned all the stylized to the ports, click Finish. So the safe height docking setting will be a global setting for all the ports. To begin, left mouse click on Change Racks. Click on the Edit button. Highlight Safe Dock Method. Click on the drop down arrow and choose height the machine will move to before moving diagonal in the X and Y for a tool change. There are four different options. The first option, no safe move. This will travel in a diagonal distance, X, Y, and Z, to the, clearance, to the clearance location without performing a safe move before a tool change. The second, use specified height. This will move in the Z direction only to a specified height before then moving diagonally in the X and Y to the clearance location before the tool change. Third, use maximum height, will first move in the Z to the machine's maximum Z height before then moving diagonal in the X and Y to the clearance location before the tool change. Fourth, use height, current or destination height will first move in Z before moving diagonal in X and Y if the current height is below a specified safe dock height to the clearance location before a tool change. If the current height is above the specified safe dock height, the machine will then move diagonal in X and Y before moving in Z to the clearance location before a tool change. If you select use specified height or use height, current or destination height, be sure to set safe dock height. Once you've chosen and entered your information, you can click finish. We'll do an example of your automatic docking and loading of a probe here. To try this out, we'll show you how to dock the stylus we just put in, 2P0 by 20 millimeter SF. Turn your speed down a little bit on your potentiometer and be sure the probe is away from the tool rack. Note, our safe dock mode was set up to use maximum height. To dock the probe, left mouse click on the probe name, then right mouse click and choose detach automatically at the pop-up window. A window appears letting you know the machine will dock the probe. When you click yes, the machine will put the probe in the assigned port location. In this example, the probe will be placed in port one. To load the probe back into the machine, left mouse click on the probe name. Right mouse click and choose attach automatically at the pop-up window. A window appears letting you know the machine will pick up the probe. Click yes. The machine will then remove the probe from the assigned port location. In this example, the probe will be picked up from port one. For normal use, leave your dust covers closed. To keep your systems clean. They'll automatically open and close when the machine loads and unloads probes. 